Hi everybody, it's Alec with Home and Rehab, and I wanted to give everybody a heads up on something called Osgood Schlatter's disease. This is something that occurs very commonly in youth athletes, especially young men who have just gone through a growth spurt. While the word disease usually implies something systemic is going on, the good news here is that this is usually more of an orthopedic issue. It's often an irritation at the front of the knee, and you'll often start to see a little bit of a hard bulge occur right at the front of the tibia, right here at the tibial tuberosity. Now what's often going on here is our quadriceps all meet up right here through the patella, connecting to, through the patellar tendon to that tuberosity. When we grow, especially if our muscles have not kept up in length, what can sometimes happen is an excess amount of tension is placed on that tuberosity and can cause some bony abnormalities to form. Now, those abnormalities are not inherently bad. Our body is always responding to stress. It's growing in different directions to accommodate what's going on. However, that strange tension that's causing that abnormality is usually causing a whole lot of irritation, sometimes local inflammation and even pain. So with that pain, and especially with that irritation, what we want to do is kind of normalize what's going on at your legs so that you can better move throughout your body. So if you have somebody who you're noticing is experiencing some anterior knee pain, you've noticed that they seem to have some very tight legs, or if they're just gone through a growth spurt and they seem to have a little bit more length to what's going on in their lower extremity, they might be a candidate for a little bit of treatment on this. What we'll usually do on the physical therapy end is first off, work on strengthening and stretching the quadriceps. What very often happens as we reach that extended limit is if a muscle hasn't kept up in growth, that means it's missing both flexibility, which means that that increased tension is partially from a decrease in length, but also missing a little bit of strength. So the muscle's having to work harder than normal in order to do the things that are part of our daily activities. So often basic strengthening exercises like squats and knee extensions can be a little bit helpful. You want to do this to a level that is non-aggravating to that region. So whether that squat needs to be decreased in range or the knee extension needs to be decreased in force, the goal here is that we're just gradually building up so that we're not causing direct pain as we go. Now, doing basic quad stretches, especially if you're lying flat on your belly and bending your knee backwards, can be extremely helpful to make sure we're increasing the length of this. And like we've talked about in the past, flexibility helps the more you do it. So as many stretches as you can a day can often help. For local irritation, things like ice massage, iontophoresis, and other modalities can be extremely useful, as well as some of the tools we've discussed in the past, like instrument-assisted massage, gently attempting to desensitize the region. If you have more questions or you think that somebody that you know might have Osgood Schlatter's, feel free to ask us any questions. We can be contacted via our website, or you're, of course, welcome to come in for a consult. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.